Hello and welcome to White Wolf Yoga. Sitting at your desk for hours on end can cause a ton of problems for our bodies. Stiff neck, tight shoulders and hips and an achy lower back are some of the most common complaints. To try and combat these niggles in the body, we've got a short sequence for you that you can practice during your office break. Okay, so the idea with this class is that you can do it wherever your office might be. So you don't need any yoga stuff, you don't even need a yoga mat. Just bring yourself up into a standing position and we'll place our feet hip distance apart. Feel nice and grounded through the feet so you're connected to the air. Send that awareness, that activity up the legs, you feel the thighs engage, the belly button, the navel draws in towards the spine. We'll really lift the spine up towards the ceiling, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, and then just feel the shoulder blades as you exhale, slide down the back. So nice and tall stance as we begin. Pushing down through the feet, let's inhale, big expansive breath, draw the arms up and into the air. Hands come into prayer, and then as we exhale, we'll take the hands down past the heart. Go for another couple of breaths like this, pushing through the feet, but rising up through the hands. Inhale. Exhale, take it down past heart center. One more breath, just like this. Big inhale, draw that oxygen, that energy into the body. And as you exhale, release tiredness and tension away. With the next inhale, we'll draw the arms up and into the air. Can we bring the biceps by the ears? and take the hands into a pistol grip. So the, finger, the fingers, the four fingers, pointing up towards the ceiling. As we're extending the hands to the sky, just watch that we're not creating tension through the upper back. So can you feel the shoulders just relaxing down away from the ears? Both feet stay rooted to the floor. We'll inhale, grow. And as we exhale, take a side stretch over towards the right. Keep the body nice and open. So if you can see this top arm, just the, see if you can draw it back so that you're pulling the left shoulder backwards, you're drawing the right shoulder through. And that way you maintain that openness of the body. One little tip as well, so that we're not collapsing into the right leg, can you push deeply through the left foot so that we stay grounded equally through our left and right legs. Inhale back to the middle. And exhale, side stretch over towards the left. Body stays nice and open, pushing deeply into the right foot. Big breaths through the right lung. Okay, let's inhale all the way to the middle. And as we exhale, we'll take the hands past the heart and we'll bring them onto the hips. So hands are going to slide back, drawing the elbows towards each other behind the body. We press again through the soles of the feet. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, just gently bring the hips forward. Watch for any collapsing or compression feeling in the lower spine. And this gentle back bend is nice for just energizing the body. So sitting at a desk for a long time can make us feel quite tired. Here, we're just getting the body moving, getting the blood pumping drawing more uh, energy, more oxygen, more positivity into our day. Okay, slowly inhale all the way to the middle. And then as you exhale, release the arms by the sides. We're gonna take a standing twist. So we'll bring this, what is it, left hand to the right hip and send the right hip round the back towards the left hip. We'll inhale, lengthen. And as we exhale, twist and turn over the right shoulder. Keep rooting down through the feet. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. One more breath. Inhale, grow. And exhale, twist. Exhale to release. Come back to center. Go in the other way. Left hand, right. Right hand, left hip. Left hand, right hip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep pushing down through the feet. Inhale, grow. Exhale, twist. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Okay, next exhale, release. Come back to the middle. And let's shake everything off. So give our arms, our legs, our hands, and our feet a good shake. Okay, so we're going to take the right foot. 
and uh, point it out to the side. And then see this left foot, bring it in to point the same direction as the right. The hips and the shoulders are square. If you feel like balance is a bit off, if you're a bit wobbly today, widen the feet more towards the edges of the mat or just further away from each other. If you want a bit of a challenge through balance, you can bring the feet closer in. We're gonna take our hands to the hips and like we did in the standing back bend, bring the elbows in. Inhale, lengthen. And as we exhale, push the hips back, draw the head forward and hold here. So we're not going into our fullest pyramid today. We just want to start to open that back line of the body, release tension from the calves, up the hamstring, up the glutes. Trying to ease some of that lower back discomfort that we feel. Holding here, breathing, drawing the crown of the head forward, pushing the hips back. Hold three. Holding two, kneecaps engaged. And one, pushing down through the soles. Let's come all the way to the middle. Now we're going to switch the other way. So we want to pivot on the heels and turn the feet the opposite direction. So now we've got the left foot in front. Right foot pointing the same as much as possible. Direction as the left. Elbows draw towards each other behind the body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drawing towards our pyramid. Keep the head lifted, the crown of the head draws forward, hips press away. Hold and breathe. Hold them for three, feel that nice release along the left side of the body. Hold in two, and one. When you're ready, push through the soles, come all the way back to the middle. Pivot on the heels, back to a central position, from where we're gonna just widen the feet a little bit further apart. Heels out, toes in. Hands can stay where they are on the hips. We're gonna inhale, lift, barrel the chest, Big energizing breath, and then as we exhale, press the hips back, lead with the head. Just like we were doing in our pyramid, keep leading with the head. You'll get to a point when your hamstrings will feel that deep enough in the stretch. When they're there, you can either stay with the hands on the hips and keep the head to round about hip height, or you can go into a bit more of a fold. You can take the hands down and relax the head. New to side here. Try and keep those knees engaged, thighs active, could help support our knee joints, but also get us a little bit deeper into that back line of the body. So sitting in the same position for long periods of time can cause that tightness, tension, stiffness in the body. So here we're all about just getting our joints moving. Let's take a twist, a nice release for the spine. So we'll leave the left hand on the floor, or if it's on the hip, you can keep it on the hip. And inhale, right arm up into the air. Twirl the wrist. Give the wrist a good stretch off. Especially those of you being on a computer all day. Maybe wriggle the fingers a little bit as well. Just getting that blood moving. Those joints open. And going the other way. Right hand down. Left arm up and into the air. Twirl the wrist. Both ways. Wriggle the fingers. And then drop the left hand back down. Hands, if they're on the floor, will bring them to the hips. Push through the soles of the feet and come all the way back up to a central position. Okay, now we're going to heel toe the feet in towards each other, back into that mountain pose position. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a, a balance here. So root through the feet and inhale the arms up and into the sky. We'll take our left hand and we'll bring it underneath the right arm. Eagle arms. That could, be, that could mean hands on the shoulders, it could mean backs of hands together, or it could mean the palms of the hands together. We want the position of the arms to feel a good release across the upper back, so that's what we're after. Once you've got that, let's inhale, lift the elbows up, and exhale, move the forearms forward. Now shifting the weight into the right leg, pick the left leg up, send it over across the right, Toes to the floor, option one. Lifted, option two. Or you can bind that left foot around the right calf. Holding and breathing here. Push the bum back. Engage the core. Inhale, elbows lift. Find your drishti focal point. Exhale, forearms forward. Hold, keep breathing here for five. Three. 
well done one release push through the right leg release the left leg all the way back out and exhale the arms down by the sides let's go to the side inhale arms up exhale right arm underneath the left option one hands on shoulders two backs of hands together or palms of hands to me let's find that shoulder stretch first so we'll inhale elbows up exhale forearms forward inhale elbows lift exhale forearms forward one more breath can you get deeper across that upper back inhale lift exhale take it forward now let's find our balance sink into the heels take the weight onto the left foot right leg up and over toes to the floor if you need the support lift it for a bit more of a challenge or bound for a deeper position push the bum back engage the core find a little speck on the floor let the eyes rest there and hold and breathe five breath flowing three arms lifted and forward and one push through the left leg release the right leg all the way back onto the floor exhale the arms out inhale them into the air hands into prayer and exhale the hands come down past the heart center find a mountain pose shake it off okay so we're going to come into a chair position feet stay where they are inhale the arms up and into the air and then as we exhale we're going to sink into the heels toes could even peel up off the floor here can we bring now our hands into prayer inhale lift and then as we exhale take the left arm to the outside of the right thigh draw that right shoulder back pull the left shoulder through hold and breathe here drawing the heart towards the thumbs bringing the thumbs towards the heart two and one release inhale back into chair and exhale hands into prayer moving our chair twist the other way right arm on the outside of the left leg left shoulder drawing back right shoulder pulling through hands come towards the heart nice holding and breathing three holding two and one release inhale arms up and into the sky a strong energizing pose here let's hold for five reach those arms away from the body three holding two nice one relax and drop into forward fold feeling free to bend the knees here as much as you need just dropping the head down towards the mat feel tension melting away from the upper back from the shoulders and from the neck we're just going to finish with a breath sequence so from our fold clasp the hands together so that as you're looking down you're looking at your uh, palms we're going to push through the feet we'll take this slowly first round until we know where we're going and we'll bring in a bit more rhythm so we push through the feet bring the hands up towards heart level then we're going to turn the palms forward and press them towards me feeling the upper back round off inhale arms come up and into the air biceps by the ears exhale side stretch towards the right inhale to the middle exhale side stretch to the left inhale to the middle exhale bend the knees take it down to fold let's go again inhale scoop the hands up to the heart exhale press it forward round off the upper back inhale arms up exhale side stretch right inhale to center exhale side stretch left let's go once more inhale take it down to fold exhale back up to the heart inhale push the palms to me exhale arms into the sky inhale over to the right exhale inhale to the middle and exhale to the left inhale to center hands from clasp to prayer and exhale hands all the way down to the heart namaste